Hi, this is Jack Spirica with RSS and Ivy. This video is going to go over the additional features that are free but registered users with an actual account at RSSFI Me are able to do as they manipulate their feeds for inclusion on, again, any website that uses PHP. Uh, we're working with a, a similar feed here that I did in the last video, RSS Technology. Uh, we're going to set the uh, category to uh, Internet. We're using the same tags I used before, RSS feeds, RSS uh, by itself and technology. Uh, these are the same three feeds I used in the first video. Again, this was a feed out of Google's blog search. I'll back up so you can see that. It was a feed out of live news search for RSS technology. It was a feed from uh, the RSS specifications blog. And what I decided to do was add a fourth one because our registered members can do up to five feeds uh, combined without paying any kind of fee as long as they have a registered account. So I went out and grabbed one more from the digital points forum just to demonstrate to you. And what I did is I looked for a form about, uh, I'll bring this window down for you, this form is about XML and RSS. So I figured a forum about that would most likely also have a feed, and it does. So these are discussions that are going on. Now, the important thing to understand with RSSify Me is you can use any source of RSS feeds, including, let's say, if you are an affiliate marketer for something like iTunes, you can take iTunes RSS feeds and stick them into your feeds uh, as long as you make sure they match your content and they're going to work well on your site any source of RSS again. So one of the additional things is you can continue to add uh, more feeds again up to five feeds if you have an account. Beyond that though you also have a lot more control over the way that things uh, are displayed on your site. As you can see now when I'm logged in I have the ability to control the width in pixels in this case 500. Uh, I wanted this content to look uh, like natural content on the site. So I took the borders off, the border color off, uh, made the background white, and as you can see when you click here you get a nice little tool where you can use any color that you can possibly display on the internet uh, can be displayed with this tool. Once I had this, now maybe I'm going to make 10 or 15 feeds for a single website and I'm going to want all the content to look the same. What I actually did was I saved the style as RSS text style. You name that whatever you want. Whenever you then come back into your account any style that you've used previously will be there. So if I were to go in here and uh, let's say change things around and let's just change this over here and we'll come in here and I'll show you how the font works or how the slider works. So it's black right now but let's say I wanted a shade of blue so I would drag this up into the blue and then select what portion of blue that I wanted. Okay so now I've saved that and uh, let's preview the feed that way. And you can see now it looks a lot different. It looks more like something like something you might put in a column. I'll go back and let's say I wanted to go back to that previous style. Apply previous style. Preview feed. Okay, so now it looks much more seamless if you were integrating it into a blog or something that was supposed to look more like a static web page. Now the other thing is you'll notice that there's titles from every feed, RSS Marketing, Google Blog Search. Now if you're doing all forums or all blogs, you may want to include that, but if you're doing something like pulling search results, you may want to hide that fact. In fact, I would advise you to. So registered members also have a feature to hide the RSS titles. So now the content looks more like, again, more like typical content that you're doing manual updates to but it's actually being done automated. You also might want, especially if you're making money from ad revenue and these feeds are sending people to other sites, click the open links a new window. That way if somebody does click one of the links, they'll go see the target content, but yet when they close the window, your site's still open. You have a better chance of getting a conversion for whatever it is you're doing, whether it's advertising, email opt-in, a direct sale, what have you. So again, we'll hit preview feed. And if I click one of these, you'll see it does open a new window. And it works just like it will on your site. I'll click Save Feed just like in the last video. It'll take just a second to turn out the code. And again, placing this code on any website running PHP. And you'll be able to display that content uh, anytime you want to. Uh, if you come in, you see the Site Builder URL that's here. Uh, this, again, is something you don't need, but I wanted to demonstrate for you exactly what it will look like in display 
and that is how it will display on any website wherever you include it. Now, one thing I want to point out is we do uh, put a link back to one of our websites in any feed used by a free member, even if you're registered. Uh, paid members can have that link removed, and they get even more features. So you might want to watch the next video uh, and see that. But another nice feature, as long as you're registered, when you click on My Feeds, uh, you'll see that here's that one feed we just created in the sample account. You can come in and edit this feed. And uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, instead of using this previous style, I'm going to change it to uh, 800 pixels wide. And uh, I'm going to do something that will make it easy for you to know that I changed things. I'm going to make the link color a lot better. I'm going to preview feed. Uh, so now you see it looks different. I'm going to save the feed. Now what that's done, let's say I'd already installed that feed out on a website of mine somewhere and I came in and I made changes to it. That could have been the color, it could have been the content, it could have been anything. When I hit refresh, now you can see that it would update across every single site that I had that on. So even if you're not going to become a paid member, we really recommend that you at least register for an account. It's going to give you a lot more added features in the way that you display things. Uh, it's going to give you the ability to go back and modify your feeds for, for use uh, in the future. And uh, again, we do recommend also that you take a look at the added features that our paying uh, members get because it's pretty cool some of the things you can do there.